He's been called a soul singer's soul singer. The music of Little Willie John has formed the basis for soul music as we know it. Coming up after the break, we'll learn more about his life and his mysterious death. Um, well, we were going to play uh, a little bit of the song Fever this morning by Little Willie John. It's been covered by numerous artists, most notably by Peggy Lee, but Little Willie John is the original singer behind the track. And um, he was unjustly for a forgotten singer whose deep blues and uh, rocking and rolling and swinging ballads form the basis for what we know as soul music. His life now chronicled in a book in studio with us this morning, um, Fever Little Willie John's Fast Life, Mysterious Death and Birth of Soul. Joining me to talk about the book, author Susan Whitehall and Little Willie John's son, Kevin. Kevin John, how are you guys? I'm good, good. How are you doing? We'll get all through that now. So let's talk a little <laughs> bit about, let's, let, first of all, let's talk a little bit about Willie John for people that, that don't know much about him. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your dad. Well, my dad was my inspiration, into, musically speaking. Uh, great singer. Uh, everybody who worked with him just, just, just loved him. But he loved music. He loved a wide variety of music. And go, growing up in the house, we, it was music all day long. And boy, you think of some of the endorsements. Uh, you know, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, James Brown, Dion. I mean, these unbelievable names that you hear. Um, Susan, this story fascinated you. Well, yeah, I mean, because a lot of those guys that you mentioned, he was the, the link between the 40s and soul music. He was the guy. He was the guy who actually set the stage for soul and for Motown. And for guys like Marvin Gaye and Stevie, you grew up listening to him, Stevie Wonder in Detroit, on the Frantic Ernie Durham show. Mm -hmm. But he influenced him profoundly. Tell me about the research on this. I mean, obviously, um, you, had, you had Kevin, which yeah, is which is yeah. great, a direct, a direct link. But um, so I mean, I, and I know Stevie Wonder wrote, wrote the forward. So I mean, there's a, a lot of research went into this book. Yeah, that, for, for, a lot of us reporters get a little bit too much into the research. That can be really fun, actually. And but Kevin and I would trade a lot of tips. Yes. He'd find something. He'd find an, a band member from the Upsetters. Yes, that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> and we like we we talked to him. We did a, a interview together with these old guys on the phone. It was great. Great fun. So, and, and then I did a lot of things like foying, um, some of the more legal aspects of it. As he did um, end up out, out in Washington in prison, so I had to deal with the police out there and all that. So there's a lot of little threads to pick up. You know, whenever we talk about this book, and it's, it's come up a lot now, it's, it's the, the mysterious death. Tell me yeah. about. Tell me about that. Well, it was mysterious in the sense that if you look at the even the death certificate and the actual telegram that we got, my mom and I got um, years ago, they didn't match. Hmm. One said pneumonia, one said uh, basically a heart attack, and so even the cause of death didn't, didn't match up. What do you think? Well, I'm, I think I'm going to defer that to Susan. Susan had a chance to talk to the yeah. attorney who prosecuted the case. And yeah. And what, what basically, in a nutshell, what happened, there was a party late at night after a gig. Willie liked to party. He liked to be out afterwards. Yeah. In, the, in this case, it was a f unfortunate, and somebody followed them, and a fight ensued, and the guy was knifed to death a after he insulted a woman, and there was a, a to-do at, at this party. Wow. So the, Willie was blamed, and Willie took the rap for it. Now, there were so many other things going on. This prosecuting attorney who did prosecute the case told me there were any number of issues that should have gotten him off. One of them, the confusion on who, who could have done it. Yes. There was not a lot of actual proof. But Willie's defense was, was inadequate. Yeah. It was an, an attorney who wasn't up to it. Could this be a movie? Well, we certainly hope so. It looks like it, yeah. 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 We're getting really good reviews on the book, uh, and we appreciate being able to be on your show to talk about it. So. We think, we're hoping that's going to happen. All right, so this is available uh, all over town? Yeah, we're going to be at the Southfield Library Monday, um, so people can come by there and get a signed copy at 7 o'clock, Southfield Public Library. Great. All right, well, Kevin, it was nice meeting you, and Susan, I've always been a fan of your work, <laughs> and you. it's nice to have you guys on today. And Fever, Little Willie John, A Fast Life, Mysterious Death, and the Birth of Soul. Pick up that book today. Thanks, guys. Taryn, over to you.